Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video I'm going to do a recap of my Dutch video. I of course did my card readings in the Dutch video. I'm just going to share the, the cards that I drew. I pulled for the uh, energy of the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany. What is going on there? Uh, talking about the Netherlands, I started with a case that we just had about a boy that went missing. Unfortunately, was found dead. Nine-year-old boy named Gino. And the media just took off with it. Uh, to me, it felt like a psyop, like something's very wrong with that, something doesn't match up. And it fits the dark agenda that it has a certain script. They want to create chaos, they want to create fear. It fits with the ritual aspect of it, of course. It's about a boy, nine, year old, nine years old. So to me, something's very off with that. I also shared a message, it's unfortunately in Dutch about this, that a, a person is really looking into this case and talking about the script. It has a certain script that has happened before, not only in the Netherlands, but also worldwide, that they have for like these uh, horrible things and they use it for their own agenda. That's like what they're doing right now in uh, with the shooting in Texas. They try to get gun control. That's really what they want. They want to take away the weapons from the people so they won't be able to defend themselves. That's really their intentions. So I do believe that it's completely scheduled. I think the dark energies are behind these situations. And also concerning this case with Gino, I do believe they're, they are involved in this. So I talked about that. Uh, of course, I have to mention, apparently everything is possible to find this one child. Doesn't mean that I disagree that they are not doing everything they can to find this child when it went missing, obviously. But what about the 1,675 children that haven't been returned to their parents that got involved in this uh, thing with taxes? Where they ultimately, because they were put on a fraud list by the Dutch IRS, uh, they lost everything financially and their children were taken away from them. And for some reason they cannot be reunited. That's the shocking part of this, to me at least. So they, it's possible to get police, volunteers to find this child, but they cannot bother to find 1,675 children in the system that's supposed to be in the system. So I'm, I'm pretty confused about that. Not to mention all the children that just go missing and no one hears about them. It's very specific that just one case is completely central. Everybody knows about it. The entire media is on top of it. But how many children go missing every day and we won't hear a thing about that. So I just wanted to mention that. So for the Netherlands, I got the first card that is the Ace of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles as the central card. The Five of Cups in the past the emperor under the central card the page of pentacles and for the future we have the world and the five of wands i find this very interesting to me the netherlands is changing this is like a new beginning energetically and i do feel that new initiatives are uh, popping up uh, in education in all kinds of areas, people are really getting together and really starting to work on new things, like a parallel uh, society next to what we're, what we're living in. So people are really starting to focus on what can we do. And I think in the Netherlands, things are changing very much. I do believe that the White Hat's influence, the army is behind this as well and I think we're going to see more and more especially in the Netherlands maybe even the media things truths dripping out I do believe that things are changing I feel a very strong change in the Dutch energy in the Netherlands here this the energy is changing very much but there's still going to be struggles like I've mentioned we have the case of course with Gino the dark are not going to just uh, sit down or lay down and like, okay, we surrender, they will fight back. So I think on smaller scales, they can still do a lot of damage. So I think they're going to create more of those false flags. They're going to create more of these situations, but 
the Netherlands as a whole, the energy, and I think maybe it's even worldwide, we're leaving behind this, how do you say this, this cyclus? I, I, I'm <laughs> a bit confused right now, but what I mean is we're ending a certain area, a certain time period. So we're changing now, it's, it's changing into something new. The world is always the end of a, a time, a system, and the end of things and a successful ending. So it's really going to end and we're going to start something new. So I do think that, especially in the Netherlands, that things are really changing, but we still have some things coming up. I do think that more and more things are coming out in the media, more truths, and that the dark will try to fight back. Maybe even more cases related to children or other things, scandals will come out to keep people occupied, to distract them. So then I looked at Belgium and we have the first card for Belgium is the death card. We have the Knight of Swords as the central card. We have the Six of Wands in the past. We have the Pentacles 10 as underneath the central card. And for the near future, we have the Five of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So to me, this felt like people in Belgium are more speaking out. This is a knight that is about to fight. That's what the Knight of Swords is. Doesn't back down from anything. And I do believe that especially people in Belgium, are, it, it's important to speak up. I always feel like they're not completely speaking up or saying any, everything that is important. And I think they're going to change that now. There is this new change, new... It's ending so the new beginnings can uh, flourish and uh, bloom, but it takes time. The death card is a, great, a major arcana card, so that's like a big psychological process that people will have to go through. And I think in Belgium, things really, really are changing. What's interesting is that on the background, we have the Pentacles 10, that's usually stability, especially financial stability. So to me, this represents the ending of the financial system and that the new system is kind of already running on the background. I do believe that it's globally the case, the quantum financial system. People also call it Nazara Gazara, but there's, always, there's also a dark um, Nazara Gazara. So I don't want to confuse that. So I'm talking about the quantum financial system. I'm talking about the Nazara Gazara of the white hats. So that system has to crash first the old system before the new system can come in. So I think we're watching that as well. So the near future, there can be a lot of uh, financial fears, feeling left in the cold. Um, secrets can come out. The high priest is usually about secrets. Uh, things are still hidden, but I have a feeling things are coming out more and more. And people in Belgium are really changing to um, be more assertive, speaking out more. So I do think that that is changing in their energy. Now I'd like to take a look at Germany. First of all, I talked about the train crash that happened. That's a very interesting thing going on right now. Uh, someone in my reactions uh, who lives in Germany mentioned that right now, if you're uh, traveling in June, in July, in August, so it's like a month in that month, you can buy a ticket for trains, the, the regional trains. So it's not the intercities, but it's the regional trains. For just nine euro, you can travel the entire month. And he mentioned that these trains usually are a bit old and it's, it's just stuffed right now because all these people uh, want to travel that way. And it creates a lot of chaos and they're not on time, which is not a German thing to do, to not be on time, not be punktlich. So uh, that's interesting to hear. And unfortunately, there was a train accident. I think three days ago, uh, about five people died and there are still people missing. So I hope they've found them by now. I couldn't find it this morning. And I do believe that that again is something the dark energies orchestrated. I believe they're the ones behind this nine euro thing. So in the month of June, in the month of July or August, you can just travel. They want as many people in those trains. They want to create panic, 
fear, uh, feelings of not being safe when something happens like that. So I believe they're the ones behind this. So I think everywhere around the world, they are still going to try to create panic, fear. They need that. They need to feed on that and they need to use it to roll out their to continue rolling out their agendas and of course in the netherlands as well there's still they are already starting to talk about i believe in germany as well that things are going to happen there's going to be a new wave coming in september and october and we need to be prepared so they're already starting with all kinds of fear mongering so i want to take a look at germany I have to take two cards from the Dutch pile because they had similar cards to the Netherlands. First of all was uh, Seven of Pentacles, that was the uh, first influence. The central card was the Six of Cups. The pentagram six was in the past. And we have the Ace of Wands underneath the central card. And for the future, we have the Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles for Germany. So what I find interesting in Germany, I feel there is more of a connection emotionally. Things are changing energetically, but more on the emotional level. So I think people are more connecting with their inner child. And that is necessary if you watch my uh, shadow work videos as well, that if you truly want to heal and step away from old patterns and start to really be responsible for yourself and take responsibility for your feelings and your emotions, you need to connect with your inner child. You need to connect with what's going on inside. And a lot of people, especially in Germany, are still very compliant. It depends on which area you are, but in some areas people still wear masks when it's not necessary at all. So, and they really are policing themselves. So it's really the people that are policing other people. So on, there's a change coming in that. So more and more people are connecting with their inner child. There is an energetic change happening, but it takes time. This is a card of patience. So before it will, before you can see the harvest, before everything is grown, it takes time. So for the future of Germany, I see the Queen of Wands. To me, that's a white hat influence. And I see the Page of Pentacles. So new things are coming out there as well. I think more white hat influences, maybe even in the media. I have a feeling that there will be an opportunity for German people to really wake up or connect with themselves because waking up is one thing, but being aware and connecting with yourself is so important to really change the world. If you do not change the energy inside, you're not going to create what you truly want or what you truly want to manifest. People are just focused on changing things outside of themselves and not changing inside. Ultimately, nothing's going to change. So I want to leave it at this. I hope to see you in another video. Bye.